this is really important. This is something that no other gurus talk about. Like every top store uses it, but no one actually tells their viewers to do it. This is like one of those low key nuggets that people hide for themselves. Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'll be talking about how to increase your store's conversion rate. So be sure to watch the whole video because I'm giving you four actionable tips that I recommend you to do to increase your store's conversion rate. So this question comes from Radical Kills. Hey Andy, could you please go over what theme you use and why? People don't seem to go through this important bits like making add to cart buttons better. Thanks, G. So let's get started. First thing you want to do, add to cart button, green. Basically green is sort of like a button that isn't too harsh like red, isn't too bland like black. It's sort of in between. Green is like a nice color that doesn't force or pressure people to buy. Hence, sort of using reverse psychology, they're more willing to click the button. Hence, everyone uses a green add to cart button, especially all the top stores. Two, you wanna edit the add to cart to buy it now. So I know this button says add to cart, but buy it now is much better. When people see add to cart, they don't get that urge to click it. But when people see buy it now, they're like, ooh, I wanna buy it now. So they click it more. Hence, buy it now has a higher conversion rate. Three, this is really important. This is something that no other gurus talk about. Like every top store uses it, but no one actually tells their viewers to do it. This is like one of those low key nuggets that people hide for themselves because it really does wonders. Having two add to cart buttons, having one on top and one after the description. Now, with all these changes I'm telling you, you're gonna have to go on Google and troubleshoot it. If you want me to show you how to do one of these things, comment below which one of these you want to guide on and I'll just make a video just on how to do that. So that's a really important golden nugget to add to cart buttons. Tip number four, timer. This is pretty much essential. Every store needs a timer. You want one that's clean. Something simple like this. This is something that gurus don't talk about. They usually tell you to get those free timer apps on Shopify app store but those suck because not only do they take long to load, they have a bunch of overlay, they show the creator's app name on the countdown timer itself, hence it just looks sketchy and not professional, so you want something clean and simple. This is something other gurus don't talk about. Don't listen to them and get a free timer app. You want to get a clean looking one or get someone to code the timer for you. Okay, five. These are things to avoid. A. Subscribe pop-ups. So people right now are so blinded by pop-ups. Pop-ups saying, give me your email and I'll give you a 10% off coupon. People instantly exit and when they see it pop up, their willingness to buy already decreases by a little bit. Remember, if you're doing hundreds and thousands of sales throughout the year, that little bit, one or two percent, is quite a solid number. B, as I said above, avoid free timers and sales proof. Beekitting does this a lot. Beekitting provides free apps, but they put their name, Andy has just purchased the dog collar by Beekitting. That just looks really unprofessional. So you wanna either pay for the premium version or just avoid, basically that's the best option. Pay for a premium version. C, remove any unnecessary apps. This is so underrated. Right now, people are just installing every free app as possible. Free apps take up so much space and they fill up your store's HTML coding on the back end with a lot of stuff and it takes your store and product page much longer to load. Remember, the faster your page loads, the higher the conversion rate. If it loads too long, customers get frustrated. Remember, these days, research shows customers have like two to three second attention span. So if your site loads longer than that, they're turning, they're either going back to the home page on their store, they're going back to Facebook, they're doing something else. Hence, you wanna remove unnecessary apps to increase that conversion rate. So that is the end of my videos. I have given you four actionable tips as well as things to avoid. This is actionable tips that you wanna apply straight away. Don't be a viewer who just watches it and doesn't act upon it. You wanna do it now. Like this increases conversion rates. Like this is proven, this has worked for me and I'm pulling solid numbers so I sort of know. I've split tested all these variables. So you really wanna get on this as soon as possible. Don't procrastinate on it. So if you like this video, drop a like, I'd appreciate that. If you have any other questions and you want it to be featured in a video, drop a comment below. Join my Facebook group, e-commerce legacy. It's getting super active right now. Like everyone's just giving each other's advice. Like you could even ask these little things. So if I didn't make a video on this, 
you could just ask it to the group and you'll get a ton of people replying like the group is just getting active it's growing i'm trying to build a culture where everyone just helps each other to bring the whole group up i want to make the world's best e-commerce group that's the plan so don't forget to subscribe because i'll be seeing you guys tomorrow peace